Hey fam! So welcome to another Motivational Monday video. So before I actually start, I just want to say sorry if I'm a ingay. I feel like I'm a ingay in my environment now because my mom's in the other room. She's busy wrapping gifts so maybe you're going to hear the scotch tape and whatever she's doing. Then I'm a little ingay because of my dogs. So if you hear noise throughout the video, sorry. Anyway, um, okay, so let's just get on with this video. So, I actually had a problem, like, because I didn't know <laughs> what my topic this week should be. But then, today I actually just got home from watching Frozen 2. I watched it with Ate Apple. And then after watching Frozen 2, she brought me to, like, her event. Na it's like an sister's event in her community na it was about inner healing so yeah and so i was like perfect it's a good topic so yes my my topic for this week's motivational monday is healing or more specifically inner healing that's what we talked about earlier so um in the event we watched a movie which was called the shack and uh i actually highly recommend that you guys watch this video because you can really get a lot of learnings and reali realizations realizations from it and today it was my second time to watch that movie and i learned a lot more um compared to when i watched it the first time so um i won't talk that uh, too much about the movie but then i just really recommend it that you guys would watch it it's very helpful and it's very eye-opening as well so I'm basically gonna focus on what I learned from this handout that we were given. So this is excerpts from Healing the Hidden Self by Barbara Lee Shalmon. I hope I pronounced that name right. So uh, yeah, it just basically talks about healing, and I will um, share with you like some main points that I got from here and then I'll share some personal stuff as well. So it says here, first first point I got was unhealed hurts can sometimes lead to destructive behavior and people are usually unaware of the reason for the tension in their life and they don't realize that they develop habits to deal with it but the habits that they usually develop aren't good because like they get into drugs, they smoke and they drink so I think um, like you should learn how to recognize your unhealed wounds and uh, you should be honest about how you feel and let yourself feel it but then at the same time make sure that you have someone to help you through it so that you don't end up developing harmful or bad habits. And then next, the prayer of inner healing. This is when the power of Jesus is allowed to enter deep into the mind and transform painful memories from darkness to light. So, I think it's very important also when you know how to pray and lift everything up to God and have faith and always trust Him because He will not do anything that will harm you and His plans for you is always for for your benefit and then three negative feelings hinder our spiritual growth so i guess it just goes back to um it just goes back to knowing how to recognize what you need to be healed from so that you can because you can't you can't heal if you don't know how to recognize your wounds so if you don't recognize what you need to be healed from you will not be able to grow in your spiritual life which is pretty unhealthy and then number four so in saint paul's prayer it says your mind must be renewed by a spiritual revolution so you can put on the new self that has been created in god's way in the goodness and holiness of the truth so this is actually tell this is just basically telling us that the spirit your spirit needs to be free and your mind needs to be renewed before you can become the new creation God has called you to be. So basically, um you need to you need to free your spirit and you need to be open minded so that you will be the person you're meant to be 
in accordance to God's will. And then number five, inner healing is a process. So I think that's one of the most important points. Inner healing is really a process, or healing in general, it will always be a process. I know um, some of you or you know whoever's watching this like they'd probably be sick of hearing that like everything's always a process and all but then that's the reality we all have to face nothing happens in an instant and it says here no single prayer spiritual exercise or meditative technique can possibly touch all the unhealed areas within us the process of healing the inner person is a journey which we travel throughout our Christian lives as we gradually become infused with the light of God's love. So inner healing is really a process and it's part of our journey as humans where we learn how to be humble and we go back to God and you know eventually we will find and realize His love and light in our lives. Next point is number six. One thing that is helpful would be receiving the Eucharist for specific areas that needs healing. So, uh, like for Roman Catholics, we have the Mass, and it's it could be very helpful, especially when um, they're receiving the Eucharist for specific areas needing healing can be very helpful for members of the churches which regu which regularly provide holy communion each time catholics assist at the celebration of mass they approach the altar with the words lord i am not worthy to receive you but only say the word and i shall be healed I really say that coming from my heart because i know and believe that when god touches you or when he touches your heart he really gives you or he really heals you from your wounds and your sins and all that so um, that's why it's also very important to be humble and recognize where you could be wrong or where you need healing and to be honest about your wounds and what you feel and all that so so that when you recognize it and be honest about it you will be healed and for the last the seventh um, is keeping in touch with the Christian community learning to relate with our brothers and sisters in the Lord can lend us the support we need in continuing in our continuing effort to walk in the steps of Jesus. So even if inner healing or healing is a very long journey or process, if you have if you have people you can count on, if you have good friends, if you have a good support system, you you will not be taking the journey alone. Or even if you don't have anyone like if you don't really have a friend to you know journey with god will never leave you alone he'll never leave you alone to journey by yourself and all and that is one of the things that i saw in the movie as well that god will really not leave you alone to go on a journey in your life he's always going to be beside you someone's going to be there he's, he's always going to guide you to make sure that you have a successful and safe journey so that's one of the things i saw in the movie and one of the things also that we did in the event earlier was that we had a small group sharing because after the movie we had a few minutes for personal prayer and reflection and we had the group sharing about what we reflected on and basically the guide questions was uh, the guide question was like um what is the mo like an uh, experience or a time in your life where you felt where you felt uh, lonely, um, scared, or you know, like um, where you felt really hurt. So we had to think of an experience and then uh, ask, pray about it. And then after we had a small group sharing. So I really like the group sharing because I was really able to share what I went through and how I feel. And it really helped that I was able to let it all out. And it was also nice that. Uh, we prayed over each one in the group. It's very helpful. And I really believe that the prayer was very powerful as well. So I really enjoyed that activity. And I guess to end, I want to share something that I learned from Frozen 2. So your past is very important. I know that a lot of us, we just want to forget about our past and not go back to it. But really, guys, I, today I realized 
it's very very important to go back to your past so that you will understand why you're going through this and also when you go back to your past you can look back at like the wounds that you've had and then you would know like what to do if you encounter someone who went through the same thing as you so like going going back to your past can help you learn a lot and make you realize a lot and when you recognize the ones in your heart you will know what you're meant to do like for me my past experiences they were very bad when it comes to my academics and my relationships but then like at least now when i look back at it i know that whenever i encounter someone who goes through the same thing i know what to tell them and i can assure them that they'll get through it because I've experienced it and I got through it, so it's very important. Like, I know sometimes we really hate going back to the past and you're always like, past is past, you should just forget it. At some extent, yes, that's true. But your past is also there to help you learn. And your past is there to help you understand yourself and others. So, there. So I hope this video helped you. I hope I was able to help you in your journey of healing if ever you're in that process now so just remember don't rush you're not you're, you won't be alone in this healing journey of yours and just remember that your past is there to help you so 